Thank you for joining me once again. Today we are going to look at how to estimate both the fixed effects and the random effects model. Please, before you watch this video, make sure you have watched my video on Hausmann test. This is because it is the outcome of the Hausmann test that tells you whether you are going to apply the fixed effects model or the random effects model. So you have to conduct the Hausmann test before knowing whether to use the fixed effects estimator or the random effects estimator. So here in eViews, I have my panel data. I have 141 countries, each country having 2000 to 2012 data span, that's 13 years, and I'm using six variables. As usual, I have constructed year dummies for my estimation. So let us start off with the fixed effects model. I go to quick, I click on estimate equation, and here I list out all the variables starting with the dependent variable. So here you can see my variables are spelled out beginning with the dependent variable and I've also included my time dummies. On that panel options, I click that and for cross section, I change from none, I change it to fixed because I'm estimating the fixed effects model. I click OK. So here on the screen, you can see the outcome of my fixed effects model. Close observation of the coefficients reveal to me that consumption, urban population are the only statistically significant coefficients when I use the fixed effects estimator. So let me go over to use the random effects estimator. From here, I click on estimate. The dialog box opens as usual and under panel options, I change from fix, I change it to random. I click OK. So here you can see under the method cross-section random effects. And you can see here the outcome of my random effects model. Close observation of the coefficients reveal that per capita GDP, consumption, and urban population have statistically significant coefficients. Remember when I used the fixed effects model, it was only consumption and urban population. So this outcome of the random effects model is significantly different from my outcome when I use the fixed effects model. That is why it is always important for you to conduct the Hausmann test before deciding which estimator best applies to your model. So I hope this tutorial is simple enough for you to practice with your data. Thank you for staying with me. Hope to see you next time on my next tutorial.